Here's the news from Egypt now. Breaking news on that massive cargo ship stuck in the Suez. Finally been set free moments ago and she is on the move and she is massive. <laughs> The economic fallout estimated to be in the billions of dollars. While we got the picture here, we want to bring in Maria Bartiromo, anchor of Mornings with Maria and Fox Business and Sunday Morning Futures on this channel as well. Hey, Maria, good day to you. I'm looking at a ton of money here. Nine billion every day in global trade and trade supply lines. And well, here she goes. She has set sail yet again. Fly. Well, yeah, Bill, but it's been dislodged, but we're not out of the woods yet. It will take several more hours to actually allow the freedom to have other ships pass through. You said it. It's about 12 to 13 percent of world trade passing through the Suez Canal, and it's a loss so far of $14 million a day in transit fees, but more importantly, billions of dollars in cargo that goes through the Suez every day. Uh, hopefully, this has not, had been, ha has not been too much of an impact, negative impact on global trade. But if this had gone on any much longer than what we saw, we would have seen real issues in terms of oil, in terms of other things and global trade. Uh, a lot of goods in Europe uh, has been impacted, and that would certainly have slowed down the global economic story. So it's very good news that this ship has uh, at least begun to move again, mm -hmm. having been dislodged. Yeah, really the, big yeah. story. The, the captain said the wind knocked him off course uh, a, a week ago. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if you take this picture of fool, Maria, I mean, that, that had to be one heck of a gust of wind to take something of this size and knock it off course. Yeah, you're right. And they had to do it during uh, high tide in order to work the sand from the bottom out to make sure that the waters were also helping in terms of moving. So they say that when we see high tide later today, it will actually be very positive in the movement of this ship even further. So there's more to come here, but certainly it is good news that okay. the dislodging has begun Fair for caution. the global economy. Yeah, there are 18,460 cargo containers on board. I mean, just massive stuff.